time to rate the rates. Rate the rates. Yeah, so we? here we go. Another beautiful month has passed, and the the rates have gone up. They've gone up. So, um, yeah, they have. Let's talk about. We we had the little black rain cloud that was inflation and what that all meant that rates were going to go up and now we've kind of compounded it so um personally and, and uh, you know I, I speak for myself all my heart is in ukraine now with all the people there going through their struggles and that uh, the conflict there has actually kind of exacerbated things it definitely so has without a doubt um it, it's with with heavy heart and mind that you know rates are going to continue to move up with now the new sanctions being put in place uh, on on uh, Russia and oil leading the charge, as all of us have seen them last week, um, the the price at the pump has skyrocketed, just gone through the roof. So um, the the rates are going to continue an upward trajectory. It's going to be very telling what the Federal Reserve does next week when they get together. March was their their launch point. So we'll see how aggressive the Federal Reserve is as far as what rate movements they come up with next week. But I would say at this point, we're, we're going to continue on an upward trend into the fours, low fours. And I, I think the 2022 ceiling is going to be somewhere around four and a half, four point six two five. So is that is that a big number, right? I just want to contextualize this really quick. Right now, we've just returned to pre-pandemic levels. If we go back to February of 2019, before everything happened in the beginning of March of 2019, we were right there in the low fours, low to mid fours, depending on your total scenario. So um, look at the Freddie Mac uh, mortgage survey. You can take a look at it for yourself. And, and you're going to see that we're just right back to pre-pandemic levels as far as interest rates are concerned. So I, I think we're going to level out here. Hopefully, in the next uh, month, uh, we, we will s we, we will keep the wild card on reserve as far as how far we escalate in uh, Eastern Europe and um, see how the whole Ukraine war is going to shake out. So it will have an impact here locally um, from a lending standpoint, from an interest rate environment standpoint, and. Um, you know, I, I think we'd be remiss if we don't talk, talk about it here a little bit and rate the rates of how it will impact the, the listings and the buying side of things. You know, we have talked for years about it being a, a global economy, mm -hmm. and yeah. we've seen that more than ever during COVID, and we're seeing it so much more with this war than we have any other time. Yeah. Is it going to affect the market? Absolutely the most place that it's going to affect it where it's going to have the biggest effect is without a doubt the the rates and when rates go up usually it means a little bit more of coming out of that seller's market going a little bit more towards a buyer's market um certainly i don't expect it to be a buyer's market anytime soon but will it get a little bit more even a little bit more balanced yeah it should so instead of a dozen deals or 20 offers on one house we'll, we'll get maybe a handful two, yeah. three, four. yeah and, and we're starting to see that a little bit it depends okay. on the house it really depends on the house it depends, <laughs> gotcha. it depends on the property it, dep it depends is always the answer in real estate <laughs> um it really depends on the property but that being said yeah i would expect it to be less multiple offers and um those that are are jumping in the buying arena will actually have a bit of a, a chance sometime soon. Yeah. So, so watch the rates for those of you that are looking to get into the market, you know, get pre-approved, understand that the, the market does move. Um, so, so there's really cool things out there. Like we just rolled out a, a lock and shop program. Oop. So what that does is it allows you the client to come in today and say, Hey, let's lock in that rate. Right. I don't have a house picked out yet, but we can lock in that rate and then we can move through the next 60 days to find a house. So you lock the rate, you shop for the next 60 days, and then you get under contract within that 60 days. And then that rate is locked in. Because if we look just back 60 days from today, we would be in the low threes. So that would save you a whole point on interest rates. So Absolutely. it's definitely something to... Uh, let us know how we can help you out there and uh, look for those types of 
products to help preserve against one of the highest fluctuating variables right now in the mortgage and real estate process, which is your interest rate. So yeah, there you have it. Rate yeah. the rates going, yes. going up. Going up. Yes. And then Ding. up and then. <laughs> Stops. Stop. Stop. Stop that. <laughs> but remember everybody is it, yes it's rough compared to last year or the year before but oh we were just super spoiled we were so L let's spoiled. be honest we were horribly spoiled to have historically low like trough 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 the bottom of the barrel interest rate environment absolutely ever ever um one other thing to close out rate the rates yeah this may not be a very popular topic but Look at adjustable rate mortgages, guys. <laughs> yeah, everybody does that because they remember 2000, the early 2000s leading up to the, the mortgage bubble. Um, but what happened back then is very different than what's happening today. Um, what happened back then, people that were no way, shape or form qualified for a house were getting a house and being put into a house and they couldn't qualify for it. That's not okay. what's happening today. Trust me. So what's happening today that that adjustable rate mortgages? So adjustable rate mortgages are still being underwritten to the full extent of income assets and credit, right? Yeah. So there's integrity in the underwrite. But I was just talking to a gentleman the other day. He's coming here. He's on a three-year contract. Yeah. So I was like, you should grab an adjustable rate mortgage. Yep. It's locked up for seven years. That rate is not going to move for seven years. FYI, the average American holds onto their mortgage for six to eight years. They're either going to sell the house. They're going to refinance the house. That's that. That's as long as a mortgage is on the books for right now, average. Uh, so why I say this is the interest rate environment is substantially different than the fixed rate environment. When rates are really low, that 30 year fix made sense. Right now, there's a, a fairly sizable spread, especially in the jumbo market, that if you're in the jumbo market in King County, that's over $891,000, right? If you're in that market, you should definitely be looking at and comparing and contrasting a 30-year fixed with an adjustable rate mortgage.